Here we are guys back with another video after a while and this time after months I'm here to teach you how to use After Effects so you can animate all your designs that you've done, all your custom websites and all this kind of stuff. It's useful to do animations because you need to show to the client how for example a website is gonna be in terms of flow, motion and feelings and I'm gonna talk about four basic concepts, four main things which are synchronization between the animations, basic understanding of the concept of easing effects and timing but without further ado let's go into the software so basically when you create a project that's the actual interface and don't be scared I'm gonna tell you what to do how to move into the interface at the bottom we find the timeline panel where we can see uh, for example all the elements uh, that we have in our composition all the keyframes the animations easing uh, and synchronization between the animations on the right we find uh, the properties panel with characters uh, elements uh, and all these kind of properties that we can use uh, to move the elements uh, and to change the style of the elements in our composition. On the left uh, we find the files panel where we have uh, all the images, the frames, uh, the videos uh, that we have in our project. At the top we have the toolbar as all the other programs that you used in the past so this is familiar to everyone I think. And then we finally come to the actual core of the interface of After Effects. Here we see all the actual animations, the composition elements. Uh, if you want to set up uh, a 3D space, uh, you can see a 3D space. Uh, but let me show you how I animate my designs uh, and my custom websites. And let's begin with the image. So I want to make it appears from the left. And it's a really simple animation, but here you can really understand the principles of After Effects and the principles of keyframes, easing, and motion design in general. So in the elements panel, I select the, the actual image. I'm going to press P on the keyboard for position. Here you can see the the actual property and a stopwatch. We click on the stopwatch and we see that we have a keyframe. And keyframes are things that tell us when animations start and end. And let's say that we want to have a one second animation. The first keyframe is already placed at the beginning of our timeline and then we need to add another keyframe at one second by clicking this little square. And as you can see we actually have two keyframes and our actual animation is in place but nothing happens because we didn't change the actual position of the image throughout the animation. To do so we basically need to go at the beginning of our animation and drag the image to the actual position that we want. But the animation is not that good and smooth so to make it looks better we need to add easing. Easing is a really simple concept, it's basically the behavior of the, our animation and we need to right click on the keyframes, we need to set the keyframe assistant to easy ease and then we go to the easing panel which is this little icon with graph editor. You can already see that the behavior of the animation changed, it's not linear anymore. And this is the curve that I usually use on every kind of animation that I do for my custom designs. It starts really fast and it ends really slow. And as you can see at the end, we'll come up with a really pleasant animation and realistic animation for your design. So for text elements, the situation is a little bit different because we don't need to change the, po the position of the entire word or of the entire sentence, but we need to change the position of the letters. And let me show you how to do it. One of the best ways to animate a text is by clicking the little arrow on the left of the square, go to text and select animate and go to position. So this is not the same as the position that we saw previously, but this is the position that we have of every letter in our sentence. To start the animation, I want to animate the letters from bottom to top, so I'm going to change the position to this kind of value right here. I'm gonna only duplicate the animator by clicking Command and D, select and copy the 396 in the position, the Y position, and then in the animator 2, I'm gonna copy it and put a minus in front of the number. So right now we have the same position as the beginning. Now to start our animation, we need to go to the animator 2 and open the menus until we find the offset properties. Click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe and set the duration to one second again. Nothing happens because we didn't change the value of the offset. We go at the beginning of our animation and we set the offset by minus 100%. And now after playing the animation we see that the letters come from the bottom to the top. Right now the animation is pretty ugly so as we have done for the image we need to add easing. This time is a little bit different because we don't have to right click on the keyframes, select the keyframe assistant and go with easy ease, but we need to change the values of start and end in the range selector. Basically these two values tell the behavior of the animation and its end 
end and its beginning. So I always use 45% for the start value and 75% for the end one. And now something changed, but not the way we wanted and we expected. So to make it the way we want is really simple. We only need to go in the advanced tab and change the shape and go with ramp down. Now go at the end of your animation and instead of using zero, we go with 100%. And if you want something much more smooth and slow, we want we are gonna tweak the 45% and we are gonna use 50%. It's not that much of a change, but it's, it changes the feeling of the animation. As you can see, there are only few things that you need to learn, but with these few things, you can really do a lot of stuff. Now coming to the second section of this website animation, we are gonna have the same principles as the previous design and animation but with some additions. In a lot of websites you saw this effect where a bunch of text comes from bottom to top but you don't see the lines, the actual lines until they reach the actual initial positions. You can achieve the same effects by masking the elements in your designs and your composition. For example here I have a rectangle, an image and some text and I want to animate the image from the left but without overlapping the other elements because otherwise it's gonna be ugly. To mask an element is really simple, you only need to go to the toolbar, press Q, you need to select the rectangle and then you need to create a rectangle on, on top of the element that you want to mask, move the shape layer on top of the image or of the element that you want to mask, go in the track mat and select the alpha mat shape layer 1 in this case. And if you don't see this option right here, you only need to toggle switches mode and click on this button right here and then you have it. Now if you move the image to the left after we see that we are actually moving the image and second we need we see that we are not overlapping the other elements so that's crucial now as we've done before we only need to change the position of the image so go on the click on the image in the elements panel press p on the keyboard uh, click on the stopwatch we create a keyframe go on one second create another keyframe with a little square and then we go at the beginning of our animation and we change the position of the image with these simple steps we can really create some cool animations. Select the keyframes, right click on the keyframes, keyframe assistant, easy ease, go on the graph editor and, so, and change the shape of the easing. Back to the timeline panel and now we see that we have a really nice animation. We can do the same thing for the rectangle, so click Q on your keyboard, create a shape layer on top of the rectangle, go in the elements panel, select the mask that we want to use and now you can move the rectangle as you learned in the previous animations. The last thing that I want to show you and then I'll let you go, I promise you. I want to show you how to put all the two compositions together and to create a website animation. We go back to our initial composition, so we go to the frame 2. We put the new composition inside the old one and then we see a mess, basically because we are not synchronizing anything. So to synchronize the two compositions, we need to select all the elements in the old composition, right click and select pre-compose. That's basically the option that allows you to create a composition inside a composition, but with only specific elements. We give it a name, for example, pre-comp1. And the last thing is that we need to add the delay to the, to the last composition. We go in the timeline panel and we drag the last composition to the right. And as you can see, all the elements are, are disappearing because we're adding delay to all the animations together. And if I go at the beginning of the timeline and I start the animations, you can see right now that the animations start one next to the other. Of course, into a website you have a scroll interaction, so all the sections go from the 
bottom to the top uh, and to simulate it it's really simple we only need to do the same things uh, that we have done before in this case we only need to change the position of the hero section after all the animations are completed so roughly here we go and we select the composition we click p on our keyboard we select the stopwatch and then we go right uh, on the two seconds uh, and we click uh, and we add a new keyframe and we change the position until it disappears from the view now at the same time we need to move the second section into the view so same thing again click p on your keyboard position add a keyframe go back click create another keyframe select all the keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy ease go with the same easing curve and basically it's done as i showed you it's a really mechanical thing and you don't have to learn a lot of new skills but it's really game changing i didn't have any other way to show to the client uh, how our final website is gonna be it's gonna in terms of feeling motion if not coding the actual website of part of it but after learning after effects and its basics i saved a lot of time in my workflow and my entire projects so i hope you found this video helpful if so smash the like button leave a comment uh, and and tell me if not if something is not clear subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on the notifications uh, and yeah i'm looking forward to see you in the next videos